This is a quick video about how to set up a Tyrannus for the DRL flight simulator. Now this will actually work with this Tyrannus QX7 or an X9D Plus or pretty much anything that runs OpenTX firmware. The menus may be laid out slightly differently, but you pretty much do the same thing. First, turn on your transmitter. Go to the page showing all the models. Go to a new model, any empty model spot create a model. Now go into the model. On the setup page, you can choose the model name. You can make it any name you want. I'm going to call this DRL Sim. Scroll to change the letter and then hold down the button to make it capital. Scroll down to where it says internal RF and external RF. Make sure both of those are off. If they're on, you'll be transmitting and running down your battery and there's no point in doing that because there's nothing receiving your transmissions. Now go to the mixer page. And if you pass it, you can hold the page button to back up a page. Right now, it's set up so channel 1's throttle, channel 2's aileron, channel 3's elevator, channel 4's rudder. You can set that up however you want. You just need to make sure you have throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder on there. Now we need to set up a switch to reset the drone and to reset the race. You can use any switches you want. I'll show you how I like to do it. Select channel 5, go to mix name, this is gonna be Drone R for Drone Reset. Choose the source for the Drone Reset. I like to use this spring-loaded switch back here. So select it, flip the switch, and it'll select it on there. Then you can exit out of Mixer 5. Go down to Channel 6. Let's call this one Race Reset. Now select the source, and I like to use this two-position switch for the Race Reset. Exit all the way out. Just to double check that all the channels are working correctly, hit Page from the main screen until you can see these bars. You can see these moving right here. Here's channel five, here's channel six. Now this is ready to hook up to the simulator. Now that you have the simulator model programmed onto your transmitter, turn on your transmitter and then take a USB cable and plug it into your transmitter with the transmitter turned on. If your screen shows options of joystick or storage, choose joystick. Now go into the simulator. Once you're on the main screen in the simulator, go to settings, go to controller setup, choose in the drop down list the Tyrannus. I prefer to use manual calibration, so I need to center my sticks, hit calibrate. Now I move my sticks around, then hit my race restart switch. Now my drone reset switch. And here I need to tell it that's my throttle. So I'll go to my drop down list and hit throttle. The drone moves up and down as I move my throttle up and down. So that's correct. Here's my yaw stick and that's on channel three. So I need to tell it yaw and that's moving in the correct directions. This is my pitch. So I need to change this one to pitch and that is moving in the correct directions. And that leaves roll. This one needs to be roll and that's moving in the correct directions. If anything's moving opposite of what it should, you can select to invert it. For my reset the drone switch, that's working correctly. My restart switch is also working correctly. I can see the midpoint of my throttle is slightly off, so I can adjust that. The maxes are further out. This can move out a little bit. You can adjust this to give it a little bit of dead band in the middle. I'm gonna give it just a tiny bit. Roll, the max is off. Ooh, the pitch, the max is way off also. Now I can save that, and now it's all ready to go fly. You can also get to the trim settings again there, and channel selections here, if you need to. Don't forget though, when you change something to hit save. Now that I have the controller all set up and ready to go, let's go to a solo race to test it. Let's come here to DRL Maps. We'll try Ohio Crash Site. Restricted Area is a fairly easy map. We'll go in here and give it a try. Okay, let's say we crash. Get stuck upside down. Reset the drone, great, resets. Let's go to a checkpoint and then crash. Stuck upside down again, reset, resets at the checkpoint. Looks good.
okay and now if we've been flying around for a little while and say we don't want to waste time in single player mode like this you can reset the whole race and it starts the race over completely now let's check the gimbal movements and make sure they're set up properly I'd say they are working well. I was quite in control. Now that wasn't my fastest time ever, but looking at my record here, I'm actually within about a third of a second of my fastest time I've ever done, so I'm quite happy with that. I'd say this is a success. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.